making this video because I've just come back from Tesco's in Thanethley. Um I'd actually gone to the public toilets there and my wife had done some shopping and she'd come back to these automatic tillers. And I went over to her and I was going to talk to her about something private, personal between, between us. Then as she was swiping our food across the, the scanner as such, this woman out of nowhere just suddenly appeared and jumped in front of us and started scanning the screen. And my first reaction is, who the hell are you and what are you doing? And are you scamming us? Are you putting your stuff in front and we're paying for it? And that's the first thing. I didn't know what to do, what to say. And luckily for me now, I didn't push her out the way because I had to know I could have been in trouble because she was actually a member of staff. But she was just wearing this normal green, grey, sorry, jumper. It's meant to be a Christmassy jumper. Nothing else indicates she's a member of staff. And when I asked her, what are you doing? She says, your, your red light was flashing. And I said, well, well, we didn't know anything about it. I mean, it doesn't make a noise. And we didn't, we didn't even know anything was flashing. We didn't know anything was going wrong with the machine. And, and basically, wouldn't it have been courteous just to say, excuse me, there's something wrong. Can I just check it for you? And then we know who you were. Because we had no, I had no idea who she was. I didn't know she was a member of staff because there's nothing to indicate her. Because now the Christmas is in, they're allowed to wear... A Christmas jumper. When you look at it, there's no indication they're a member of staff. Now, most other people were wearing their blue uniforms, but this one wasn't, and she just jumped in front. And then I said to her, Look, you know, wouldn't it have been a bit easier and polite if you just introduced yourself and said there's something wrong with the machine? Her words, and I repeat this, her words were, I haven't got time to be polite. Now that is Tesco's for you. Now I tried to get the management down there and they said, oh, she has every right to wear a jumper. That's what's nothing to do with the jumper, it's her attitude. And then we tried to get onto Tesco's head office, another one to make an official complaint. Can't do it, so that's why I'm making this video and I'll post it around and I hope it'll get shared and I'll get onto Tesco's through this video as well. Because remember staff to say, you know, they haven't got time to be polite, I mean, all you've done was taking two more seconds of it just to introduce yourself to the red lights flashing. Can I just check the machine for you? How does that take two seconds? But no, just jumping in front of us. Well, we're having a very personal conversation as well, you know, and, and not introduce that. We he didn't do it for Adam, and then she said, Well, I got my little badge, and it was a little round badge on the front of her. We never seen the front of her, she just jumped in front and just started wiping the machine. So I made this video because I will post it around, but just bear in mind that now it's okay for um, Tesco staff. Um, they don't have time, so we have to understand they don't have time to be polite to you. They can be rude, arrogant, because they haven't got time. There you are.